What's up everyone, it's your boy Nick from... Oh, not again. Hey, your neighbor Tim down the road said that you did woodworking. Um, I was wondering if you could come and rebuild my house. Uh, I can't tell you, but I have chocolate vickers. If you want to stop people bugging you when you're at home, you're going to want to install some blinds. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So as always, roll that intro. Yeah. Okay, so once you rip the old blinds out, you want to take the measurements of the inside of the window. Once you have those measurements, you want to go head down to Home Depot or any hardware store that sell blinds. Pick out the blinds that you want, go tell the guy or the lady to go cut the blinds to the measurements that you have, and then they'll put them back in the box, send you home, and you're here ready to install your new blinds. Yeah. So you only need a few tools for this project, and they are a drill with a countersink or a small drill bit, a set of screwdrivers, a tape measure, or in my case, a marking block, and a set of scissors. So as soon as you get your blinds home, straight out the box, you'll have the hardware box, which has the mounting clips and all the screws needed. The actual blind unit itself, the valence, and then the adjustable wand. So the first thing you want to do is open the hardware box and dig out the two mounting brackets and the valence clips which kind of look like this. So you want to attach the valence clips by simply clicking them on to the header of the blind. Once they're on, now you want to attach the mounting bracket. To mark the position of the mounting brackets, I used a marking block because I was marking multiple blinds at once, though you can just use a tape measure. I mark three inches in from either end and then three quarters of an inch in from the window. Once my markings were laid out, I then held up the mounting brackets to those markings and then marked the pre-drilled holes. I then pre-drilled the holes using my countersink in my drill. Once the pre-drilled holes were drilled, I then attached the brackets using the one and a quarter inch screws provided. I then simply mounted the blinds to the brackets by clicking them into place. I then clicked in the adjustable wand and then marked the valence for length. Once the valence was marked, I then cut it to size and then filed away any rough edges. Once cut, then you just simply click it into the valence clips. Because these blinds were slightly bigger than my window opening, I had to cut them down in length. I fully extended the blind and then cut any slats away that protruded the bottom of the window. I also cut away the horizontal cords which were holding those slats into position. Using a small flat screwdriver, I removed the bottom rail plug. I trimmed down the outer vertical cords approximately 2 inches down below where the new position of the bottom rail will be. It's important that you do not cut the center cord. I brought the bottom rail up to its new position and then with the outer cords I then brought them around the bottom rail and twisted it till it held the rail into place. I then placed the twisted cords into the hole and then permanently plugged it into position using the rail plug. I repeated the exact same steps on the other side. And that pretty much sums up this video. I'm pretty happy how they turned out, especially compared to the old dated yellow blinds that were there before. I'm working towards a pretty modern interior and I feel like these kind of blinds really suit the aesthetic of my modern home. 
and they're not too expensive and they're pretty easy to install. So as always, if you found this video at all useful, please let me know in the comments down below. I know it's not as a terribly exciting video as my usual ones are, but stay tuned because I have some epic, epic builds coming up very soon. So you're gonna wanna subscribe to check those out. And as always, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That helps this channel out a lot. And share with every single person that you know. If you wanna go see some more day-to-day -day stuff, go follow at Raddadbuilds on Instagram. And as always, stay rad. Peace. Yeah.